Last type we will discuss in SCD or slowly changing dimensions is type 6. Type 6 actually is a combination between type 1, type 2, and type 3. It has type 1 because we update all values and we will see how in coming example. Type 2 because for every change we insert a new record with valid dates and flags. Type 3 because we add historical column for previous value. So actually it's a combination between three types. And let's see by this example how it works. Here we have customer dimension table. We have data warehouse key. We have durable key for customer, customer key. And let's assume in this example, we will track only one value, which is category value, customer category. So to apply type three, we have previous category and current category. We have customer name. And to apply type two, we have valid dates. So we have valid from valid two, and we have current flag. So let's assume initial data for this customer. We have silver category. This is the initial data, so previous category and the current category both will be the same. This information in this record is valid starting from 1st of October 2018. And we have the default value for valid 2, as we discussed in type 2 before. And this record currently is the last record or the recent record for this customer. So we have a flag Y or yes. Now, if we receive the new data coming from source system, for the same customer, we will insert a new record. This is type two. So we will insert a new record with the new category. And we will insert valid from is the date when we received the new data from source system. So let's say this data became available or updated in source system starting from 15th of October, 2018. And valid two will be open. We will update it now. And current flag equal Y. So now we applied type two or partially type two because still we need to update some values. So in previous record, we will update current category. It was silver. Now current category is gold. So in first record, we have current category gold and previous category is silver. We will update valid two from the previous record to be the date of valid from of the new record minus one. And that means this record or information in this record was valid from 1st of October 2018 to 14th of October 2018. After 14th of October, we have a new data now. This is the new data for this customer. And of course, we need to update the current flag. So previous record has now no flag. And the new record has Y flag, which means it's the last or most recent record for this customer. So as you see, we apply three types. We updated values. We insert a new record for the new changed data or new updated data within valid dates and using flags to indicate most recent records. And we added one column for the previous value for the attribute we need to track. If we have multiple attributes, we can add previous columns for all of these attributes. And we can update with the same way. Insert a new record. We will update valid form and valid two dates. We will update the current category for the attribute that they change it. We will update the current flag. So what's good about it and what is the disadvantage for this type? We have history. We have detailed history. As in type 2, we are tracking every single change in attributes. Access to loss value directly. We can access loss value directly as we are applying type 3. This advantage is integration process now became more complex because we will do multiple operations, many operations together, including insert and including update for certain values to apply type three, which make integration process or ETL process to insert data in this kind of dimensions is more complex. Of course, we will increase table size as we will add a new column for 
any attribute we need to track and we will insert a new record for any change happen in source system so we will increase storage size or table size by adding more columns and by adding more records 